Hello guys, in this video I'm going to try to explain to you how and when should we use the following Klaviyo tags which is current weekday, current month, name and current year. Why would we use these tags instead of the year? So if you want to create dynamic content on a specific template that you will use that template several times, you will use it for many years. You just want to change few things here and there in the images, in the text, but there are specific things that will, you will want to keep like forever. Like you would like to have dynamic uh, weekday, dynamic month in this email to mention, for example, now is uh, March or you want to say now is Monday or things like that so you will use this code in that specific email and it will automatically populate the specific day when people will get that email so for example if you send that same email on one person on Monday on the other person on Wednesday they will get same email but the value of that specific word will be different for the person that got it on Monday will get it as Monday and the person that got it on Wednesday will get it as Wednesday. So yeah, it's quite interesting for the setting up of the templates that you will be constantly using and I will give you a few examples. So for example, at the current weekday is mostly will be used if you want to use it somehow in the context of what you're saying. So for example, you're writing email and you want to say today is this day and you can use this uh, code till let's say the next two days or the next five days if you're referring to giving a discount code that is how you can use it we will provide these codes below the video and you can just copy and use them the current month is similar as weekdays uh, you can just copy this code and use it whenever you want it in email uh, what we usually use this for is if you want to be specific for something and maybe for longer discounts things like that but the most that we use is the current year so for example why we use this we use this for the convenience of setting up the footer so let's say in the footer we want to uh, mention our company and to add the current year so let's say we would say something like volume and we will add the year so Right now is 2021, but that will mean that we will have to go next year and change it 2022 and then change it to 2023. And it's not a big deal, but if you have a lot of flows, a lot of emails, a lot of times where you use this template, if you use the numbers like 2021, you will have to go and change it each year in all emails that you're sending, in all flows that you're having already set up. And if you have like 100 emails in the different flows that you have, and we have some clients that have even more than 100 emails, uh, you will have to go and change it separately in each one of them one by one. And that is too much work and you don't need to do that. What you can do instead is just use this code and it will automatically populate the rear that it is right now. So let me save this and I will show you how this looks. For example, if you preview the email, so you see, Right now we see the code here, but if we preview the email, we will see the actual dates. So we'll see that today is Monday, we will see that today is March, and we will see that today is 2021. If you use this same template, the same email, and we send it in one month, in Wednesday, let's say, it will say Wednesday, April, and 21. The use of this is like, as I said, for the templates mostly that you use in flows, if you have in footer or some things that you don't want to change very often and because you use it in all of the emails, you just simply use this code so you don't need to go and change it each month or each year or whatever it is. So that would be it. Thanks and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.